So here we have the Mini Countryman on a 65 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with those black alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot space first of all. As we approach the back of the car you'll see we have those twin tailpipes. Plenty of boot space as well which can be increased by folding down any of the three seats you see there and this tray also lifts and removes as well. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. We have the rev counter, the digital readout for the speedometer. Beneath that, the main trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car. They are 34,872. In that section, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, uh, we are in park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have our stereo controls, cruise control as well. The paddles here can change up and down a gear manually on this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we then have the main screen for the car, which as you can see, includes satellite navigation. All of the controls for the screen, the movement you see me making right now, it's all done using this dial just here. You can go back to the home screen, but the dial will do virtually everything. For example, if you want to listen to your radio, uh, you can rotate to radio, push it down, we're then in the radio menu. But you'll get over to the left, uh, and this is the main menu for the radio where you can see we have FM, AM and DAB. We can come back to the home screen. If you want to listen to your own music, you do so under the CD multimedia heading. We have a CD player, of course, but you can plug in external devices. So USB input, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary input as well. And then the satellite navigation is accessed just here. Your phone is paired there. We have the fuel gauge in this section as well. And of course, the main speedometer, the CD player and the volume for the stereo climate control so you can adjust the temperature the fan speed the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in when you're happy with those settings that's your air conditioning turned on the same button will turn that off again or hit auto the car will now take full control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain the temperature you've asked for you can override that by pressing the same button again you'll go back to whatever setting you had that on previously we have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same over here for the passenger seat Front and rear fog lights, you can put the car and the gearbox into sport mode. We can deadlock the car, so lock it from the outside, and you can turn the traction control off from there as well. We have a 12 volt charging socket, two cup holders, and the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. The last thing I want to show you are the two sunroofs we have here. So we have manual sun blinds, you can pull over uh, both of the sunroofs if you wish to. Uh, and of course you can leave it like this, it lets in a huge amount of extra light. You can tilt both sunroofs, or if you wish to, the front one, will open over the top fully of that rear one, as you can see. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.